hello everyone and once again welcome to my channel and in today's video i want to show you guys how to make a laundry bar soap but today i want to be elaborating on each of my ingredients my caustic soda this is what reacts with my oil to turn to soap and over here is my sodium sulfate sodium sulfate is actually a chemical that makes your soap to be very hard and strong it's a very good additive to add to your soap during production then over here is my soda ash. Soda ash is what in increases the cleaning power of my soap, enabling the soap to remove stubborn stains. Then over here is the sodium silicate. Sodium silicate is actually a very strong additive to add to your soap. It makes your soap come out looking shiny. It deals with the impurities in the water of, in the water so that the soap can leather well. And also this also contributes to the hardness of your soap so there are other additives you can add in your soap but i'm just elaborating on few now over here is my water the purpose of water is to dissolve all your powder ingredients everything that is not in liquid but in powder form or solid form that is what water does it is used to dissolve those things that is just the purpose of water in soap making water is just used to dissolve your chemicals that are not in liquid form so you can see what I did over there. I divided my water. I used half of it to dissolve my caustic soda. And the remaining half, I'll use it to dissolve my soda ash and my sodium sulfate. Don't dissolve sodium sulfate into the same water of your caustic soda. Divide the water into two. Use half of it to dissolve your other um, powder um, chemicals. Then use half of it to dissolve only your caustic soda. Reason because caustic soda is very corrosive. It will not allow the other chemicals to dissolve properly. In order to avoid undissolved chemicals in your soap, divide the water. Use the other half of the water to dissolve your other additives if you wish to add more additives in your soap. If the word additive is sounding strange in your ear, then you need to enroll for my online class so that you will learn more about additives in soap making. And also in soap making, we don't just use any quantity of water. This water is rightly measured because too much water in your soap will make your soap to be very soft and too little of water in your soap will cause your soap to reach a thick trace, causing the batter or the mixture of your oil and caustic soda to be very thick. It will be so thick that you won't be able to pour it into your mold. So I have kept the both of them to, I have kept my caustic soda aside to cool down. And over here is my palm kernel oil. Palm kernel oil is actually a hard oil. And this is my granite oil. Granite oil is a soft oil. The difference between hard oil and soft oil is that hard oils are oils that make soap to become hard after production. Then soft oils are oils that delay in the hardness of your soap after production. Implying that if you make soap with your hard oil, your soap will become hard quickly. If you make soap with soft oil, your soap can take weeks to become hard. Now, why I am mixing the both oils together is because I don't want my soap to be hard after I have poured my chemical inside. I want it to be um, watery or um, soft so that I can easily pour it into my soap mold. I'm mixing my oils together because I don't want it to be hard after I have started pouring my caustic soda and my other chemicals inside. Because if you use only hard oil, your soap will be very, very thick and it will not allow you to easily pour it into your soap mold. To know more about hard oils and soft oils, do well by enrolling for my online class. There you will learn about oils. You will know which oil falls under hard oil and which type of oil falls under soft oil. And you will also be taught about the type of oil to use in making soap. You will be taught about oils that support leathering. It's not all oils that will allow your soap to leather properly. Some oil will allow, some oil will not leather properly. So there's a lot of things you will, you will learn if you enroll for my online class. So over here is the soap mold we'll be using for the for this project. The mold is actually 7,000 Naira. If you need this mold, you can do well by reaching me on the number displayed on the screen. This mold can be go is good for commercial production because it produces 18 tablets of soap. You can use it to produce 18 tablets of soap. So if you want more, you can purchase more of these soap mold and have a large number of soap produced at once. It's good for commercial production. So don't forget, my online class is ongoing. If you want to enroll, do well by reaching me on the phone number displayed on the screen. 
I have ebooks available for sale. So you can see what I did. I poured my soda ash and sodium sulfate mixture into the oil first. I did not first of all pour in my caustic soda. I first of all did what? Pour my mixture of my soda ash and sodium sulfate into my oil. Then stir properly. That is what I did. After that, I'm going to add my caustic soda solution. Everything has to be prepared because once you pour your caustic soda, this mixture will start becoming thick. So everything has to be prepared and ready to be poured into the soap mold. And don't forget, I have ebooks for sale. The ebook is very educative, very elaborate. If you need this ebook, do well by reaching me on the phone number displayed on the screen. Just in case you don't have time to enroll for my online class, then you can do well by purchasing our uh, ebook. The ebook has a lot of information, has a lot of skincare production. It has information on how to acquire a NAFDAQ registration number. It also has information on where NAFDAQ offices are in Nigeria, in different states. It has the addresses of NAFDAQ offices in every state in Nigeria. Then the ebook also has information on where to purchase your chemical in different states in Nigeria. It has the addresses on where to purchase your chemicals in different states in Nigeria. It has what their addresses in the ebook. So you can do well by purchasing this ebook. Reach me on the number displayed on the screen to purchase your ebook. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to drop your comments on where you don't or I didn't explain properly. Drop your comments in this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to enroll for the online class. And don't forget soap modes. This soap mode is available for sale. If you need it, you reach me on the number displayed on the screen to purchase yours. We deliver nationwide. Anywhere in Nigeria, you can purchase this soap mode. It is not hard. So no matter your location in Nigeria, you can also purchase the soap mold. You can see what I'm doing. I am vibrating the mold by holding the handles of the mold and hitting it on the floor. Reason because I want the surface of the soap to be smooth. That is the purpose of vibrating it. I want the surface of my soap to be smooth. So I hold the handles of it, then hit it on the floor several times so that the surface of the soap will look smooth. I don't want it to look rough. So I'm going to keep this for 12 hours. So after 12 hours, this is how the soap looks like. It has dried under 12 hours. Reason because I added some things that will make it hard quickly. My sodium sulfate and my sodium silicate was what helped the speeding up of the drying of the soap. Don't forget, the soap mode is available. It's just 7,000 Naira. If you need it, you just reach me on the number displayed on this screen to purchase the soap mode or you can reach me on whatsapp or phone calls to this to purchase this soap mode don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to share this video don't forget to like the video and also don't forget to comment on areas where you've been having difficulty in soap making let's discuss at the comments of this video so thank you for watching this video. Thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. You are doing well. You are you are doing a nice job to all my lovely viewers out there. You are doing a great job by watching my videos. Without watching my videos, it won't encourage me to make new ones. But because you've been watching it, I am encouraged and I'm making new videos for you all to watch and learn how to make soap. Don't forget to join the online class. Don't forget to purchase your ebook just in case you will not be chance to join the online class. You can do well by purchasing my ebook on soap making and other skincare production. You will learn how to formulate a lot of things there in the ebook. You will learn about the liquid soap, the, the powder detergent, the hair shampoo, the hair conditioner, the body cream, the laundry bar soap. There's a lot of things you will learn there. The dental production, the hair cream, the hair. Um, the Vaseline. There's so many things you will learn in my ebook. So thank you for watching and see you next time on our next video. Goodbye.